Chicago South Side is reinventing itself through mega developments like the Brunsville Lakefront. Hi there, this is Gabby with Next Gen Real Estate and Property Management serving all of Chicagoland in their real estate needs. And if you like content like this, please subscribe and hit that like button. As always, click on the link below to schedule a free consultation with me. Today, I will discuss one of the most anticipated real estate developments in Chicago, the Bronzeville Lakefront. This is going to be a global hub for innovation of wellness rooted in the rich heritage of its multicultural community. It is located on the iconic shores of Lake Michigan, which makes it very appealing to access new residential and commercial opportunities, parks and trails and community spaces. So let's get down to business. Bronson Lakefront is a $7 billion redevelopment project of 100 plus acres redevelopment of the former Michael Reese Hospital and Medical Center. Sites. This is new mixed-use health innovation district featuring iconic architecture, cutting-edge design, and world-class amenities. Through a request for proposal, the city chose GRIT, a group of local developers, to purchase and develop the land in 2017. GRIT, which stands for Global Research Innovation Technology, is a diverse group of partners with expansive experience and deep community ties. Farpoint Development, Loop Capital Management, McLaurin Development Partners, Draper & Kramer, Chicago Neighborhoods Innovative, and Bronzeville Community Development Partners are among the companies that make up GRIT. Before we discuss Bronzeville Lakefront development process, let's first delve into the history of Bronzeville. In person, public engagement for the community development began in 2017 and was followed by virtual community meetings in 2020, co-hosted by DRD and ALT, the Michael Reese Advisory Council and King. Here are the different phases of development in Bronzeville Lakefront. Phase one, an initial 13 acres of the Bronzeville Lakefront development will be transformed into a thriving life science community, a mixed-use commercial, office, retail, and community spaces, and a new park in phase one between 2021 and 2026, with the ultimate goal of creating the healthy community of the future. Chicago Park Innovation Center. Illinois has the potential to be the center of healthcare. It is one of the top producers of the STEM degrees in the country, and it is home to the 23rd largest medical and life science economic engine. According to the World Business Chicago, the Chicago region generates $72 billion in annual economic activities and employs about 700,000 People. The Chicago Arc will nurture new capabilities that build health ventures through access to data, skilled operators, customers, and funding under the guidance of the joint venture team. Healthcare access, affordability, precision, medicine, smart medical devices, preventative solutions, biologics, telehealth and medical technologies are all areas of focus here. It aims to bring sustainable health equity and transformation solutions to the market, driving impact and return for healthy Chicago. Included in the Chicago Arc is the data center supporting the health innovation ecosystem. The storage center will power the data processing and cloud-based storage to house the healthcare research and findings. The Chicago Arc will take a market-based approach and provide high-touch support to grow local and global startups to transform healthcare. Incubator facilities and services accelerator programs driven by experienced operators and investors and investment capital will shorten the timeline between scientific discovery and commercial scale. The Chicago ARC facility is set to open in early 2024. The Bronzeville Community Center is a 40,000 square foot facility dedicated to Bronzeville's history. Here visitors can learn the history of the area and hear about the cultural landmarks. The center would be the first stop of the Black Metropolitan National Heritage Area, a proposed tourism district that would honor the legacy of Black Chicago while creating economic opportunities to cement its future. The senior housing will encompass approximately 300 units. It will have a mix of units, common spaces, retail stores, cafes, townhomes, and a rooftop deck. Residents will enjoy indoor and outdoor local spaces. They will also enjoy the comfort and convenience of a fantastic low-cost luxury senior community in the heart of Brownsville. 31st Street Park. 31st Street Park 
will reroute the street network on the large property, reconnecting it to the neighboring community. The restored grid will allow for activity and phasing with the existing metro station, perhaps being relocated to East 31st Street. The site will be prepped with a number of interconnected open spaces that will encourage connectivity and reintegration into the neighborhood and metropolis. Civic parks are located at East 29th Street and 29th Street. A cultural ribbon will run the length of 31st Street operating as a supplement farm for the complex. The cultural ribbon will be doing a 34th Street Park, which may contain a seasonal plaza and pavilion, natural garden, grill and picnic areas, playgrounds, workout areas, garden sitting, and a skateboard strip are all possible outdoor spaces amongst new buildings. The Singer Pavilion built in 1948, was one of the first post-war structures constructed at the Michael Reese Medical Center. It is the only remaining building from the original Michael Reese complex. Built to house the Reese Psychiatric and Psychosomantic Institute, the pavilion features a southern orientation of the generous use of exterior mounted sunshades rather than barreled windows like past psychiatric institutions. And patients' room faced a landscaped park meant to soothe and comfort long-term psychiatric patients. The singer won an AIA award 1951. Grable reimagined it as the world's greenest building, allowing the living building challenges strict generative design protocol. Brunswick Lakefront also includes the relocation of public parks and plazas to 31st Street, the relocation of senior and multifamily homes to the west, and the addition of the new residential skyscrapers to the east, where a truck lot currently exists. The 27th Metro Station will be replaced by the 30th Street Metro Station. And Phase 2. Phase 2 will cover 6.8 million square feet of development and will run from 2023 to 2041. Life science or healthcare, commercial office, retail, residential, hospitality, mixed use, and public open spaces are all permitted uses in the second phase. The Brownsville Lakefront will simulate tremendous economic development by creating significant jobs and generating significant revenue through business creation trade and industry. It will offer more than double the 4,000 jobs that Michael Reese Health Center provided for the community. The Bronzeville community will see an 80% increase in jobs comparing 45,000 direct and indirect construction jobs and 31,000 full-time jobs totaling 76,000 jobs. Because of the infusion of growth opportunities offered by the Brownsville Innovation Center and small neighborhood businesses, restaurants, hospitality, and other retail establishments, the redevelopment project is expected to generate a direct economic impact of $3.8 billion and an indirect economic impact of $4.4 billion, totaling $8.2 billion. Brownsville Lakefront will pour investments into the long disfranchised Southside. The grid team worked with the local community from the start so that they would create a healthy and inclusive community. It has come to the most anticipated mega development in Chicago because it developed through the public private partnership, authentic collaboration, and a vision for generational impact. Brownsville is a community with rich culture, deep history, and legacy of excellence and innovation. Brownsville Lakefront seeks to amplify this neighborhood by creating unparalleled transformation change in the area. Are you living in Chicago or planning to invest in the South Side? What do you think about Brownsville Lakefront? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and as always, where's your future?